So let me introduce our senior curator, one of our senior curators uh, from the Aeronautics Division, Tom Crouch. Thanks, Kim. And uh, we're here today, if you've been here on the mall, 150 years and one week from now, June 18th, 1861, you would have seen a balloon out on the mall just about where that one is inflated today and it would have been the balloon of Thaddeus Sabisky Constantine Lowe. Lowe had come to Washington to demonstrate the value of aerial reconnaissance uh, to the president. He uh, had made contact with Joseph Henry, and we had Joseph Henry's daughter, Mary Henry, with us today. Miss Henry? Thank you. Good day to you, sir. I believe you were here that day, were you not? Uh, yes, I was. And man held the balloon tethered to the ground and it traveled along and eventually they dragged it down towards the White House. It's very exciting. It left terra firma. <laughs> <laughs> Marvelous. So um, at the time Joseph Henry and his family actually lived in the castle with some junior staff members and so on. So there would have been really quite a small crowd out here that day. But Lowe went up with uh, a telegrapher and uh, the president of the telegraph company who wanted to make a flight too. They went up to about 500 feet. Lowe sent a telegram from uh, the car of the balloon, the basket of the balloon. They had a line down to the ground. He sent it to the White House. And as Ms. Henry said, uh, when the flight was finished, they walked the balloon down to the White House. Lincoln came out. And he was sufficiently impressed that he invited Lowe to come in and spend the night and uh, continue to talk about the balloons. And in fact, it was that event that led directly to the creation of the Balloon Corps, which was the first military aeronautical unit in American history. And it marked the beginning of aerial reconnaissance in American history as well.